offensive in urban refugee camps in central Gaza. U.S. officials are asking Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to focus on Hamas targets and avoid civilian casualties. It comes as attacks on Israel by the militant group Hezbollah continue, including one strike that injured one person. When Israeli troops arrived to help, nine soldiers were hit by additional attacks. Israeli's defense minister addressed the growing threats from Iran and its allies. We are in a multi-front war and are coming under attack from seven different threats. Gaza, Lebanon, Syria, Judea and Samaria, Iraq, Yemen and Iran. We have already responded and taken action in six of these threats. Israeli officials say that despite the progress they've made in Gaza, the operation is expected to take several more months. Hundreds of pro-Palestinian protesters flooded the streets of Manhattan on Christmas. Protesters chanted and marched to the sum of the city streets, including Rockefeller Center. Organizers called to cancel Christmas, with a group of protesters carrying a mock nativity through the streets covered in red paint. In the evening, crowds clashed with police. At least six people were arrested on a variety of charges, including resisting arrest, criminal mischief and disorderly conduct. One police officer was injured. People feel too comfortable inciting this violence on the streets of New York without facing heavy consequences, and that's why it's going to continue. More protests are planned in the coming weeks in New York and across the country. Capitol Police.